Hey, everybody. I'm here with uh, Lada from LHD. How are you, Lada? Uh, fine. Thank you. How are you? Very good. I'm very happy to have you here because uh, I tried to get what I think is your other band a couple of years ago. Would you mind mm -hmm. reminding people what band that is? Uh, it was the Bambi Molesters. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. So why LHD? What it, first, what does that stand for? And why did you decide to end Bambi Molester and start LHD? Yeah. Well, uh, the Bambi Molesters came to a kind of a natural end. I don't know. We, we, we've we done the full circle, you know, and uh, then we just, uh, the three of us went uh, our separate way. And uh, one remaining member of uh, of the Bambi Molesters went his own way. So so we just thought that it, we, it would be a, a good idea since the band was, it was, it was fun. And it was, uh, uh, it was, I would say, a very good band. Uh, and uh, it would be nice to just leave uh, leave the band where where it was, you know, not to drag it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay, uh, uh, you know, when when you are at at a peak, then just stay there. And then uh, we decided to uh, to do separate things. So LHD stands for the th these are the first uh, letters of our names. So it's L for Lada, H for Hervoye. And D for Dinko, basically three thirds of the the Bamboo Blasters. Awesome. Well, you have yeah. uh, which you can find a link in the description to your band camp page. But you have a few singles and mm -hmm. uh, a full link that was recently. Yeah, we have a, a an an LP called Off the Grid, and we have two uh, double uh, double singles. Uh, and we're at the moment actually we're working on uh, on an EP that should be out by the end of the year i i hope so so uh lhd is quite a new band uh <laughs> it's very good uh very uh david lynchian it is kind of yeah 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 it is and uh i i didn't ask you at the beginning uh i was wondering uh how did you uh, uh hear about us well um like most things uh i follow a lot of uh surf bands on uh instagram okay. Which a uh, lot of bands seem to kind of live there now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then Jeff, uh, big tiki dude, said, ah, by, okay. by the way, LHD is uh, members of the the Bambi Molesters. And I'm like, yeah. oh, God, I was trying to get them for a while, but I got to <laughs> yeah, talk. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. So okay. other, than the, other than the release, I want to let people know that you actually have a 12-inch. Yep. Um, did you release that yourselves? Uh, no, we have a record label. Uh, it's called Dirty Old Records. It's from Croatia. It's a punk, basically a punk, uh, uh, punk label. Uh, but it's uh, one of the the guys. Uh, the the guy who owns it is a great guy, and it's very easy to do business with him. It's like you know, uh, you agree on, upon something, shake hands, and then uh, he sticks to it, which is very rare nowadays. Uh, and uh, we decided we know we have known him for uh, quite a long time, and then we decided. Uh, in this new band in LHD that we wanted to keep things simple, uh, honest and simple. So that's why we uh, uh, we actually released it for uh, for Dirty Old Records. You should check them out. Uh, they have a yeah. very, a very interesting catalog. Yeah. Interesting. Definitely. Um, so you're the first band that I ever had from Croatia. Uh, okay. Um, tell me what it's, it's like there. To, to be there, to live there, and also what the scene is like. Well, the scene is very diverse. I mean, uh, Croatia is a small country. When you think about the number of, of people uh, living here, it's uh, around 4 million, which is uh, not a lot, yeah, comparing to some big cities in, in Europe and uh, the USA. So the scene is diverse, uh, but you have... Uh, uh, only a couple of bands. Uh, when we talk about different genres, they are all here. You know everything from from folk to to EDM to I don't know everything heavy metal. You have everything, but only a couple of bands. So, yeah. uh, so the scene basically uh, is uh, is the scene uh, that's comprised of uh, of uh, bands from uh, neighboring countries also. 
Would you would you say that when I was young, yeah. um, you used to hear stories like people would go out to see um, electronic music, and then the next mm -hmm. couple hours they'd go see like a, a rock band, and then yeah. the next couple hours they'd see maybe some dub or reggae. Mm -hmm. Is that is that like kind of like the atmosphere in Croatia? Well, well, yes, but isn't that the atmosphere all over the world now nowadays? No. Not here, not here. No, it's like yeah. one, one thing a night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, one thing. <laughs> yeah, it's one thing a night, but it's a a, a different thing uh, each night, perhaps. Okay. I I know. I I think all the genres are available now for kids and for uh, yeah. those of us who are not kids anymore. So you basically can listen to e everything. So and mm -hmm. there's no uh, there's no like reason uh, that you ca that you couldn't uh, you know find something you like. So so. Basically, that's what I uh, what I like about uh, the the whole uh, the whole internet thing. So yeah, absolutely. It's easy to yeah, it's easy to find. You wouldn't have found uh, you couldn't have found us if if uh, you know you didn't uh, uh, work on the Instagram and try to find yes. uh, new bands. So yeah. Well, that made it very easy. And what else I noticed is very easy to find you on Bandcamp. Um, yeah. And I'm sure I'm sure for you it's easier to find people on Bandcamp that may yeah. be coming through your area to tour with. Yes. What yeah, Bandcamp is great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really like Bandcamp and it's uh it's easy to communicate with uh with uh, the audience and uh and the information is very clear. It's you know, uh so one of my favorite sites, uh, Bandcamp is one of my favorite sites, yeah. Yeah. Uh tell me about um uh, uh, just mention what instrument you play and, and kind of like mm -hmm. why you decided to go in this direction uh, mm -hmm. with with the sound of your music. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, well, I play uh, in LHD. I play bass, bass uh, in in a band, but that's not my first instrument. Uh, I'm uh, my first instrument is piano, so I played some keys also on this uh, on this album. Uh, I also played a uh, uh, xylophone. <laughs> that was for the first time for the record. Um, well, I don't know. I don't know how you would define the sound of uh, the um, uh, the uh, of the grid album. I try not to define it. It is kind of surfy, but it's not strictly surf. Some people like that. Some people don't. Um, I would say that we. Um, we actually aim at doing things that or or aim for the sound that we would like to hear we would like to listen and then that we enjoy playing so uh being uh, being in a band for now more than well um, yeah 30 years almost yeah 30 years um not in this but in bands you know playing uh i, I kind of think that it's um uh, it's mostly about uh, being creative and being in the moment. So you do things while you do them the best way you can. And uh, you try to enjoy while working on uh, on a certain song. Uh, and then uh, it turns out either uh, that's something you would like to listen or not. So hopefully I, I think, I hope that we have like on the LP that we have uh, like these 10 songs that people would like to listen. Yeah, we sure I, do. <laughs> I know, I know, I did. Uh, yeah, okay. I, I fell right into it. Although there was an intro that was kind of mellow, which I think might have had to do with the xylophone. I, I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, okay. It was. It sounded different than the than the rest of okay. the. Okay. And my uh -huh. my son was like, "What is this?" <laughs> and, and I was like, "Oh no, this is a surf band." And then yeah. you, I, you guys kicked in, and he was like, "Oh yeah, this is good." Yeah. <laughs> He's 11 years old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um what is your plans like I don't know, sound wise to or or writing wise? Yeah. Like do you plan on evolving or expanding on on what you have now because yeah. what you have now yeah. is is perfect, but like what well, Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Well, we're not yeah, we're not uh, we're not um 
making plans you know what i've learned uh, in the uh, in the last couple of years is basically that you cannot plan anything you know uh with all the things uh, going on in the world and and all that you know you can make plans but no one says that <laughs> uh, it's exactly what will happen so uh so we we don't make plans we uh we just stick to doing things that we uh, feel when we are playing, when we are working on a song, that we just feel uh, kind of uh, uh, right while doing it. So that's it. And I don't know, uh, there are many genre influences in the music. Um, I'm sure that you've heard them uh, while you were listening to it. And I think it makes it uh, interesting. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. tell me a little bit about um, some of the shows you have coming up. And maybe some of the shows you'd like to play or some of the bands you'd be really interested in, like your uh, path to bands, like your bucket your bucket list. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, uh, for uh, for people uh, who are surf fa uh, fans and are in the USA, I know that they know about uh, the Surfer Joe Festival in Livorno in Italy. So we'll be playing that on the 24th uh, this month. Then we have uh, uh, in the near future, um, let me just check, uh -huh. okay, it's in Hungary, also a festival, which is not a, not like a genre festival, but, but it's a big festival, it's called Fishing on Orfu, so we'll play that, and uh, then we have, we, we did uh, actually a lot of shows in um, this spring, uh, so we took uh, some time off in uh, in uh, uh, July. So we'll see uh, where the autumn takes us. So the plan is to actually record this weekend and uh, the following the, to record these new songs for these uh, for uh, the new EP. I, I we would definitely like to play also the uh, big tiki dudes. <laughs> festival yeah. so maybe that will happen we've been talking about that for some time now so i hope uh that we can make that happen maybe next year um uh, we'll see we'll see awesome awesome uh well before we uh before we head out i just want to give you opportunity to say anything or maybe add something i hadn't talked about uh whew, i have a <laughs> well uh you know, I just hope to see as many uh, people and as many fans on our live shows because we really, really enjoy playing live. And playing live is what, uh, what uh, you know, makes a band uh, actually exist. Uh, and uh, I hope to see uh, some people who watched, who will watch this uh, on some of our future shows. And check our band campsite also. <laughs> yes, that's correct. You can find the singles. Uh... Yeah. The, uh, the 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 new album and the twelve inch, yeah, yeah. and uh, the the digital download is free. So, oh wow, I did not. Yeah, know. it's free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. So be our guest. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Well, thank yeah. you so much, Lala. You have a great rest thank of your day, and thank you for accommodating the time schedule. Yeah, thank you, thank you for asking us to, to be part of your uh, podcast, and I hope to talk to you sometime again soon.